Welcome to On The Road Again with Davey and today what I am going to do is do a tutorial on how to use the golf carts that you will rent while you're at the Palm Island Resort. So please take a quick moment now, subscribe and like the channel as I'm going to post a lot of different videos on Don Pedro Island. So if you're getting ready to visit Don Pedro Island and the Palm Island Resort, I'm going to have a lot of videos I'm going to be posting. So please subscribe and like the channel. So on to the tutorial of the golf cart video I'm going to do today. Uh, once again, you can rent the golf carts down at the general store called Coconuts. And it is attached to the Rum Bay restaurant. And this is the golf cart that they gave us to use while we're here for the week. And I'm going to go over things on how to charge the golf cart. That's an important thing while you're down here. You don't want the golf cart to go dead because you're going to use it for a lot of your traveling while you're on the island. It is definitely a good idea if you're going to stay more than just a couple of days down here to rent the golf cart for the week. Um, we did. It cost about $300 to rent it for the week. And it has come in handy. Uh, we have about six people with us. So everybody has enjoyed the golf cart while we're down here. But what I'm going to do in today's video is go over things on how to charge it, um, how to turn it on, obviously, uh, where to use the forward and reverse on the golf cart. Things they might go over with you when you're first down there, but if you forgot once you got it back to your uh, home, uh, you're definitely going to want to know how to use the golf cart while you're here. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do in order to charge the golf cart is it comes with an extension cable. So wherever you're staying at the home that you're staying at, more than likely on the outside, it's going to have a 110 outlet. So all you have to do is plug in the one side to the 110 outlet, follow the green cable, and you're going to plug it in to a cable that looks like this. And it is attached to the battery. So this cable is what you will attach to the extension cable. Once you have the extension cable plugged in, and that's the first thing you're going to want to do, is you will then have another cable and that cable is going to look like this right here okay and what you're going to want to do is slide this cable underneath you try to go over top it probably not going to reach we found that out earlier so you're going to want to drag this cable all the way out and it will plug in right here so there's a little outlet right underneath that you can see right here so you're going to want to plug this into this hole right here all right once you have it plugged in right here you're going to want to check the back part where the battery area is and it will start making like a vibrating noise sound and that will let you know that it is running and you see this little marker or speedometer whatever you want to call it it will go towards the number 15 and when you hear the noise and vibrating noise and you see this going back and forth that indicates that the golf cart is charging now something else to make note of when you don't have it plugged into the extension cable and say you go out to dinner or you go to explore check out a beach and you put the golf cart in park you want to make sure, even when it's not plugged into an extension cable, that when you leave, that you do plug this cord back in to this spot right here. So by plugging that in, it is going to continue to allow the vehicle to charge. That way the battery doesn't go dead while you might be out exploring. Like I said, this can get a three to four hour charge, but you just want to make sure when you do stop, uh, plug this back in, even when it's not at attached uh, to an extension cable for the fact that it will continue to charge the golf cart even when you don't have an extension cable charged to it it will continue to give it some power so you can plug that back in whenever you might go out to eat or check out the general store or you do any type of exploring to check out the other beach areas just make sure you plug that back in all right once the golf cart is charged you can put all the cables back underneath this area and then start enjoying the golf cart. 
All right, now let's go over how to put the golf cart in forward, reverse, and neutral. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you get into the golf cart is have the key on you. And you're going to want to put the key where it says off and on to the on position. All right, so the golf cart is now on. Something else I'll go over with you real quickly here is this controls your lights. So if it's popped out like it is right now, your lights are going to be on. And you can see that the light is on the front of the golf cart. So if you're traveling at night, you can definitely turn the golf cart on by having it popped out. Any other time, sunny enough, you can have it popped back in and obviously no lights here okay but on to how to put the vehicle in forward and reverse so right in the middle you have this little knob right here and if you push it in the left direction if you're driving it will put the vehicle in forward motion if you have it in middle position it's just in neutral so if you go to park the golf cart you just put in the middle and if you want to put in reverse you hit the far end and the reverse will be accompanied by a loud beeping noise that you can probably hear in the video right now that's how you know the vehicle is in reverse you hit the go button and the vehicle will go in reverse or in forward depending on what position you have it set in and a couple other things to just go over with you if you want to park the golf cart you're going to want to hit where the brake is on the clear left hand corner press it as far as you can and it will lock into the parking position and obviously where it says go that is going to be your gas and will make the vehicle move forward or backwards depending on what position you have it set in now if you're looking for more space in the back if you're not carrying anybody with you the back part does fold out And when it folds out like this, you can carry things like your chairs or shark tooth scoopers, whatever the case may be, can be carried in the back part if you don't have any passengers with you. The so beach chairs, anything like that could fit right back here. Okay, that will conclude my video on the tutorial of how to use your golf cart you got from Palm Island Resort, Don Pedro Island. Uh, once again, if you thought this was informative, please subscribe and like the On the Road Again with Davey channel today. Definitely would appreciate it if you could subscribe and like the channel. And definitely please look out for my other videos relating to Don Pedro Island that I will be posting on later this week. Uh, I will have a lot of different videos showing different beaches, uh, the restaurant that's down here, the general store that's down here, and a lot of other different things you can check out while you're at Don Pedro Island. Have a great rest of your day.